Hi, Gemini. You know, I'm glad you're here today. Gemini's horoscope, so we can blame everything on you. <laughs> no, really, it's like Mars is in your first house. So it's like you're having a, a little bit of boost of confidence, and you're ready to call out the evil. You know, and I'm really fascinated by... Um, reverse discrimination when someone who is supposedly in the power structure like a white male there's like anybody for president as long as they're not a white male and it's like so there, there's got to be something inherently bad about white males there must be because that's what most of the homeless people in my community are <laughs> so all their privilege isn't buying all of them a lot of stuff you know and so it's like important to be conscious it's like once you start judging people by, by things like that, you, um, it, which is not to say that there is an institutionalized racism and gender favoritism. I, I would agree with that. And I can understand that's where those people are coming from. But, you know, all those people, they haven't been, you know, underprivileged white men, so they don't know what that feels like. And they're ready to throw them all under the bus and not help them, even if they're marginalized. And that, to me, is pretty screwed up, you know. Because everyone needs help. And everyone deserves compassion. And so, Gemini, since you know the two sides of the story, I felt like I could trust you with that story. I don't think I can trust everyone else. And with that said, yeah, you know, there's great women candidates running for president. But look at the institution, man. Look at how our politics are. It's all bought and sold by money. I mean, if they're going to change that, I'm like, I don't care what your color or gender or if you're a hermaphrodite it's like go ahead get in there and run and change it you know, <laughs> you, know, <it's> like, <laughs> you know yeah you know we haven't been talking about hermaphrodite rights you know everybody's like you know they haven't gotten themselves in the lgbq scene yet you know and i just think that really that bites you know i'm, I'm going to take a stand for hermaphrodites and give them a special category because you know nobody else will right Go ahead. You know, I'm not making fun of the other ones. I, I just feel like, you know. So they, so you don't have compassion for hermaphrodites. Well, you know, you can just... <laughs> Geminis have compassion for hermaphrodites, and they're going to do good on their career this week. That's what I'm going to say.